The beautiful Italian city of Grosseto played host to the latest stop on the IPC Grand Prix circuit. Athletes gathered from 32 countries at the Carlo Zacchini Stadium for event number six of the season, with the countdown continuing to the European Championships in Swansea later this year. And with less than 80 days to go, there were plenty of names putting down markers ahead of the competition in August in Wales, none more so than Great Britain's Alec Davis. The 23-year-old won gold in the discus F42 at London 2012 and was at it again here as he smashed Fanny Lombard's 12-year-old world record with a massive throw of 48.69 metres. I think every competition I've done so far I've broken world records, so it's, it's nice because we've changed so much over the winter training-wise and technically as well. So, you know, we needed to change the route if we were going to change the route if we were going to try and progress now and keep pushing those barriers. The progressions have come from you know being smart with my training now uh, and you know being very mature in what I do and taking things to the next level. So, you know, we as a, you know I'm training full time anyway, so it allows me to get really good grafting in the winter in the gym, um, and a lot of changes technically to my throw as well. So, you know, I can't tell you the secrets, but it's, uh, it's coming together nicely in time for the majors coming up. Another Paralympic champion who looked to have broken a new world record was long jump specialist Marcus Reim. The German showed that he's edging closer to the 8-metre mark in the men's T44 class after reaching a wind-assisted 7.96 metres distance in Italy. Had it not been for a 2.5 metre per second gust of wind, he would have added one centimetre to his own world record set at the 2013 World Championships in Lyon. Uh, well, it was really good. I started very well and I have a um, good series. Um... Yeah, I'm really happy about the series and I really hope to go at the end around the yeah, 780, 790 and well, 796 is more than perfect and I'm very happy about it. My goal is definitely the 8 meters. Um, I just try to, to beat the, um, yeah, the mark of 8 meters. Um, no Paralympian jump 8 meters before, so this is the big target for, for the coming season or yeah, for my um, for the whole sports career, if I'm honest. For this year, the European Championships, and this is um, the peak for my season, so I hope I can go a bit further on this time. Double world and Paralympic champion Martina Caironi was also thriving in the windy conditions, as the home favorite clocked a season best 15.26 in the 100 meters T42, and went on to break the 200 meters world record the following day. Compatriot Giuseppina Versace had the fastest time, though, in the same 100-metre mixed race as she claimed victory in the T43 category. All eyes were on rivals Tony Pispinen and Alvisa Davidi in the men's 200 metres T51-52. Finland's Pispinen took gold ahead of Davidi in the 100 metres at London 2012, clinched silver in Lyon last year, one place ahead of the bronze medalist Davidi, and claimed two sprint double victories at Notville. But it was the Italian who had the edge this time, as the home favourite took advantage of the Finn's technical problems with his chair to win the race in a time of 42.41. I'm a little bit confused what happened. I had a curve problem in half of the curve. Uh, there was uh, some kind of uh, steering problem. Uh, my steering system went broken or something, so uh, I lost the game after the 50 meters. He's the best now for our category, so I'm happy to beat him for the first time. There was also plenty of rivalry in the men's 200 meters T44 with an impressive lineup, including world record holder Jared Wallace, former world champion Arnu Fowry of South Africa, and up and coming sprinter Felix Streng. In a tight contest with just 0.11 seconds separating the front three, it was Germany Streng who came out on top with a time of 22.37, just ahead of American Wallace, while winner of this event in Notville, Fowry, had to settle for third. The competition was it's crazy with like having Jared and Felix here and I knew it was going to be crazy. I saw them running two weeks ago in Manchester. So it was a pretty good race and uh, this is phenomenal. I mean, getting together, having this IPC Grand Prix and the competition we get together to run against your, like the, your own sprinters in your own class with this Grand Prix is just uh, it's a oh, good gesture though.